was blowing dust out of the smoke alarms. <laughs> nice try. They're all here. <laughs> Do you ever worry that some of the people in these mugshots might be innocent? Well, people can think whatever they want. We're just reporting, not passing judgment. Uh, the paper's called Lock Em Up. It's kind of judgy. <laughs> This one's kind of hot. Let's put her on the front page. Oh, so that's what you're attracted to? Blondes with most of their teeth? <laughs> I think you know exactly the kind of woman I'm attracted to. <clears throat> what are we doing? I work for you. I mean, this would be complicated as hell. No, you're right. And as your employer, I cannot have you feel uncomfortable or pressured in any way, so... you're gonna have to make a move on me. Do I look like a woman with moves? I'll just do what you feel is right. I am going to pretend to work and, uh, hope for the best. Fuji Apple sticker on your ass. I believe it's Golden Delicious. Can we just go back to work? This is getting too awkward. Yes, I agree. Um, can I borrow your stapler? Yes, sure. in front of a live studio audience. I'm done with my list. We made our Christmas list for you, Grandpa Dan. They're just suggestions. Don't get your hopes up. You're getting underwear and a popcorn tin from the drugstore. <laughs> so we're not getting anything we want? You really break my heart when you put it like that. But no. But I really want a plushy pet backpack. It talks to you. But Mark talks to you. You don't want him to feel like he's being replaced, do you? You know what won't make him feel bad? Crayons. Hi, guys. Grandpa wants to give me crayons for Christmas. Well, we'll call child services and let them sort it out. Hey, you know, Mary, most people refer to them as Crayolas, but that's really a brand name, like Kleenex or cellophane. Crayola comes from the French word clay, meaning chalk, and olia genou, meaning oily. Can we go to school now? I see I've awakened the educational curiosity in you. Oh, for God's sake, let him go. I'll help you pack him up, Deej. Dan, Peter wants to talk to you. He has a bike that needs restoring. Well, you've come to the right place. We do the same quality work as the big guys, but cut a lot of corners and pass the savings on to me. <laughs> this isn't a bike. This is what you feed to other bikes. It's a classic Vespa. Did you ever see Roman Holiday with Audrey Hepburn and Gregory Peck? It's on my After I Die bucket list. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't fix foreign bikes. Ah, oh, come on. I saw a bike like this in that movie and I fell in love with it. The whole experience just made me want to move to Italy. Well, you know, it's still there. So, Dan, what do you think of the Vespa? Well, like I told Audrey Hepburn here, I don't fix foreign bikes. Peter, could you get the kids' Christmas presents out of the trunk? I'll take Audrey or Catherine. You can't hurt me by comparing me to a Hepburn. <laughs> 
Dan, I bought it for Peter for Christmas because I knew you could restore it. You bought this for him? It's got to be at least three grand. You don't have that kind of money. I know, it's a lot, but we're both going to enjoy it. Me sitting behind him, my cheek pressed against his back as we glide past the Trevi Fountain. That's Rome. This is Lanford. We don't have fountains. We have a pipe that spills sewage into the river. You're doing it for me, not for him. Definitely not doing it for him. Are you sure you're going to be riding on this thing? Of course I am. Okay, then. I'll make sure the brakes work, too. <laughs> So how is work with Hunky Boss Man? Um, we, you know, got along fine. Fine? That's your version of being overjoyed. You had sex with him. All I did was borrow his stapler and then thank him. Twice on his desk. And how was it? Well, if you gotta know, um, the sex was incredible. So you've only had sex with two guys, so you don't know good from bad. Let's just say it was average. Well, Ben must have liked it. He asked me over to his apartment for dinner, and I can't wait to go. Oh, so it's going to be a relationship? I smell disaster. <laughs> Look, I know you're thinking that because I'm so spun out of her mom and divorcing David and money problems. You think I'm moving faster than I should because I'm just looking for a quick emotional fix. No. This isn't about you being an emotional train wreck. That's too obvious. <laughs> this is about your uncanny ability to pick the wrong guy for you. Oh, it's nice to be able to share this with you. <laughs> and you're completely wrong. Ben is finally the right guy. He's strong and confident, and he knows what he wants. That's even worse. <laughs> it's like two stubborn trains heading towards each other on the same track. <laughs> You think I'm locked into this little prison that I made for myself dating meek guys that I can push around, and it's not true. I've changed. Really? We shared a room for years. When you accused me of having my Marky Mark poster on your side of the room, instead of asking me to move it, you cut out Marky's eyes. <laughs> Just never seen you this excited about a guy. I don't want you to fool yourself into thinking it's going to be all unicorns and rainbows. Be prepared for a rainstorm and a horse head in the bed. Wow, most pregnant women are positive. That's gonna be one bitter little baby when it finally makes a break for it. Hey, Dan. Jack, you said I could find you here. Yeah. How will I get here? The food's bad, that keeps people away so I can drink in peace. I just wanted to pay you for the parts so that you could get started. Are you okay with a check? Sure. If it bounces, you're not going to outrun me on Barbie's dream scooter. <laughs> huh. You and Jackie have an account together. When did this happen? Oh, last week. We put my name on our account so that we could save money on fees by commingling our finances. No biggie. <laughs> commingling beats two people mingling money. Do you have anything to mingle? Not at the moment. I thought the masters in medieval culture would have appealed to a wider array of employers. <laughs> but now I'm on the right track with Nordic history, music, and dance. Look, Jackie's a good person. And she's been single a long time. So her guard may not be up right now. But mine is. You're taking advantage of my sister-in-law. Oh, I'm not. I'm going to pay her back every penny, including tuition. She's paying you tuition? That's between me and Jackie. Just fix the bike. That's supposedly what you're good at. Excuse me? Don't start a war of wits with me, Dan. You're unarmed. Touche. And since I am without wit, I'll take you out back and rub your face against the bricks. Mm. Of course, the uneducated man resorts to violence. So predictable. Excuse me. Hold on. Don't leave without your check. Ow. Hey, right on time. You look beautiful. I already slept with you, so let's just be cool. 